All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about control flash. I'm going to point out a couple different things. So if you want to know where control flash is, you can come down here to your flash programming tools and that's control flash, right? And then there's also control flash plus. We're not going to necessarily talk about that right now because uh, in my opinion, control flash is tremendously better than control flash plus. I mean, unless you're talking about the higher versions and then you can run into that. But we're going to open this up and talk about this real quick. So right here it says change RS Links edition. Now this is just in case you want to change from RS Links Classic to Factory Talk Links, depending upon what you're using, right? So um, some workstations are set up for Factory Talk Links, some some are set up for uh, RS Links Classic, and some choose to use whatever they want to. I mean, I preferably like RS Links Classic. Uh, just because you can do more stuff with it, OPCs and stuff like that. Another thing is um, the viewing the inventory. Now this is very important because this gives you the idea of what is already in your control flash and if you go to actually flash something and you don't have the actual firmware, then you can know that, hey, I need to go to the Rockwell site and get it, right? So with that said, I mean, this gives you a firm understanding of what's inside your computer, right? And this doesn't that doesn't not necessarily say, you know, well here this is this is exactly what the firmware release inventory currently that's on my machine. I'll go ahead and show you that. So you got ENT two T modules, you got I O modules. One thing I want to point out too is, and when it comes to the seventeen fifty six series, like if you're doing a processor. Um, when you go to the higher versions, like the processor right here, let's just go to like the E, the L85E, you can only go up to 30. Now, why is that? Because you come down here and you're going to go all the way down to where it's going to pop up again and show right here. This gets into the Compact Logic 7, uh, uh, 5370. Um, again, that's a, that's the Compact Logics right there. The control logics to 5570s and the uh, higher control logics which is the L8 which is the 5580s. So right here this gives you 31 and higher. Now this does confuse a lot of people so I wanted to bring this up because again when it comes down to it we're used to seeing just the processor right like we did up here. Like we're just seeing we're just used to seeing that and we go to directly to that as we're going to flash the processor and then all of a sudden Hey, we we don't have the we we just don't have the firmware. That's what it looks like anyway, right? So that we're looking at the 1756 L85E. They come down here. We got the same exact thing. It's six that they changed the firmware. They changed the way the firmware was was set up. So these are all signed and stuff like that. So they they've completely done that. And this does on parentheses say 1756 L8, right? Again, so this does give you an understanding of, you know, all of what you have inside of your computer. Um, so just in case you needed to, you know, flash the firmware, like a, on a uh, PowerFlex uh, 5 or 755 drive, most of the drives you're going to see are going to be a low power. Okay, now I want to dis distinguish this. What do you distinguish at high power, which is a HP? Or a low power that's based upon the frame size the frame size of the power flex 755 drive so just keep in mind look at your frame size make sure you know if it's if it's a frame size I believe five or lower then it's gonna be the low power I believe if it's six or higher then it's gonna be the high power don't quote me on that because it might be six and seven um, I'm not 100% sure on that. I just wanted to make you know, make sure you do know what drive you're you're actually going to flash because it will accept it. Um, in some cases, it will accept it, but in some cases, it's obviously not it's not right, and you won't be able to run. So just keep that in mind. And most commonly, people are going to deal with the uh, 755 series comms. You have that, um, and just it just come over here and just just look at everything you have like the 755 drives or 725 7 i'm sorry the powerflex 525 drives you can easily see that um 
and I, I actually have the actual control modules for like if you wanted to update the Ethernet IP, um, just stuff like that, right? So I just wanted to give you the, a real quick video of the ins and outs of basically what's in Control Flash and and all the things. These are all servos. These um, 2198s. These are going to be your Serco servos. Actually, this is I believe not the Serco. This is going to be the SIP Motion. So the 20 yeah the 2198 is a sip motion so just keep in mind the 29 uh or the, the 2094 is is going to be your your uh older style which is your basically your cerakos drives your, which is cerakos servos so again when it comes down to it the 2094 cerakos the 2198 that's going to be your sip motion so real quick, I just wanted to show you a couple of little, little key things about that. I don't want to go through the whole inventory. If you don't have something, make sure you go to the Rockwell rep website. You can just type in ab.com. It will redirect to the Rockwell rep website. And just as far as that goes, just download what you need. It will be a DMK file, generally speaking. And you just come over here to your control flash right here. And you want to go in DMK extractor and as soon as you do that if you download the DMK which is going to be your firmware you do the DMK extractor it automatically adds it to your control flash the DMA uh, the DMK extractor does take a minute so be very patient it's called the DMK extraction tool it does take a minute to start up so I want you to make sure that you know that even though you've clicked it once, don't click it multiple times because then you're going to get into that whole little thing where Windows opens up multiple atmospheres. With that said, hopefully you learned a lot from that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.